Hello everyone, and welcome to what is a very different video for me, but probably also my most requested video, and that is my curly hair routine. I get asked about my curly hair routine, honestly, on a daily basis, and I've never actually made a video about it, I've only briefly mentioned it a couple of times in other videos, but I decided today that it was finally time for me to actually make a full in-depth curly hair routine. Now before we actually get into the steps that I do and my actual routine, I do just want to mention a few things. First and foremost, I am not an expert on curly hair, nor do I claim to be. I just have curly hair, so all the tips and advice that I have to give in this video are just personally based on my own experiences and what I've found to work for me, so it may not necessarily work for you if you have a different hair type. Speaking of hair type and hair texture, I do just want to go over my hair type. So I have what I believe are 3A curls mostly. I have some 2C, 3A, and like occasionally a couple of 3B curls, but for the most part I think I mostly have 3A curls. And my hair texture is very thick to coarse, so yeah, I have mostly 3A curls and very thick hair, so if you were wondering if you have a similar hair type as me, that is my hair type, so maybe some of the products I recommend will work for you if you have similar hair. And quickly, the last thing I wanted to mention before we get into my actual process is that I started this day out with fourth day hair, so I had washed my hair four days ago, and this is what it looked like. As you can tell, it's very dry and pretty frizzy. Typically, I'd wait about five days before I wash my hair, but for the sake of this video, I decided to wash it a bit early. But without any further ado, let's get into my actual curly hair routine. Again, like I said, this is a very different video for me, but at the very least, I hope that you're able to enjoy this and hopefully take something away from it. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. So the first thing I wanted to do was um, show you guys the products that I use, specifically the ones that I use in the shower, just two products. I only use shampoo and conditioner. And this is the shampoo and conditioner I use. I use the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, which no, this is not sponsored by them. I have done a sponsored video by Function of Beauty before, which is how I found out about these products in the first place. But I genuinely actually really, really love them. And I've been using them ever since then. And it's been so great for my hair. My hair was really, really damaged for a while because I'd been using like the same shampoo and conditioner for too long and it was not working for my hair anymore so when I finally switched to this it's been so great and I really just genuinely love this so I plan on using this for a while definitely at least until they're empty um, and then maybe I'll try out some other things but for now genuinely love this not sponsored by them this time but I love this product. So yeah, that's literally all I use in the shower. I do want a deep conditioner. Don't have that, um, which I would like leave in and then wash out. So I do need to try out a deep conditioner because like I mentioned, my hair is very, very dry and it hasn't been deep conditioned. But for now in the shower, I just use this shampoo and conditioner. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna wash my hair and then I will come back out and let you all know what I do after I have washed my hair. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hello. I washed my hair. I forgot to mention before I washed my hair that the other thing that I use in the shower is a wet brush. This is what I use to brush out my hair when I condition it. So yeah, I just shampooed, conditioned my hair, leave the conditioner in for like a minute or so, and then I brush it out with a wet brush. Now my hair is soaking wet, so immediately what I do when I get out of the shower is I use the very first product that I have, which is Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. This is a leave-in curl cream that I always use first immediately on my hair. So I take about, I don't know, like a quarter sized amount. You really don't need too much of this. I use about that much and then I use more as needed. And I do this while styling my hair upside down. So let's do that. So I turn my hair upside down rub this in between my palms, and then I kind of just like run it through my hair. Sometimes I rake it through, sometimes I do like the praying hands thing that people do, um, and then I scrunch it in a little bit as well. But I try and get this thoroughly throughout all of my hair. Since my hair is feeling extra dry, I'm actually gonna use some more of this as well. There's so many different styling techniques, honestly, that I've tried out multiple different ones, some days some work really well, other days others work really well. I mix it up sometimes depending on what I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I will just do that and then leave that in my hair like this and then move on to gel. Also losing all this hair. But lately one thing I saw um, a couple of people doing recently on Instagram was they'd leave the product or they'd put the product in and then they would brush their hair through to create like 
curl clumps so i'm actually gonna do that today because i've done it before and i do like how this works on my hair some people brush upside down i've tried that i don't like it because i feel like while sometimes it does give you more volume i feel like it just makes the top of my hair look weird and i don't like it personally but what works for some people might not actually work for you so honestly having curly hair is just a lot of experimentation all right so now the leave-in product has been brushed into my hair and as you can see, I still have like curl clumps because my hair just naturally does this anyway, obviously. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the gel I use, which is the final product I use, like I said, very simple. <laughs> but this is what I use, the same brand um, Curl Talk, not your mother's Curl Talk, Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. So for this, I should use more than the cream, but I don't use too much gel just because I don't like when it, my hair gets too like crunchy. So I use about maybe two quarter sized amounts. Like I'll start off with like about a quarter size amount. If you can see that, it's running down my finger. And then for this, I once again, oh no, did I get the camera wet? Probably. <laughs> I turn my hair upside down and then Basically what I do with this is I don't really rake my fingers through it. I just kind of like run my hands down my hair, kind of do like the praying hands thing. And then I just like scrunch it into my hair. And I try and get like all of my hair from like the roots to the ends so that this helps with frizz because gel really just helps with frizz and like defining your curls. And then I just scrunch it in. And you have to do this while your hair is like soaking wet and then scrunch it a lot because scrunching it is what gets the crunchiness out from the gel. But this gel is actually really good because it doesn't leave my hair crunchy at all, which I really appreciate. I don't like when you can like feel a product in your hair, that's the worst. And then squeeze out like all the excess water by like scrunching it like this. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more since I didn't use too much. And since my hair has been super frizzy recently. All right, and then from here, sometimes if there are like pieces of hair, like this one, for example, that's just kind of like not really curling much here and just kind of, I can feel it getting frizzy. I'll just like take that and sometimes I'll take a bit more gel on my fingers if I need it, break my fingers through it a bit and clump it together. And then I can just like wrap it around my finger. I know you can do this with like almost every strand of your hair and it'll actually make your curls super, super defined, but I don't have the time or patience for that. So I just do this if I find like a piece that's like, not cooperating and then just scrunch that up to encourage the curl and then there you go it's a little bit better so sometimes i'll do that with pieces even like as it dries i'll like take one or two that's acting a bit weird like this and then just wrap it around my finger a bit curl it to encourage the definition of the curl there's probably a better way to do this too but i mean this is what I do. That's so much nicer. So there we have it. From this point on, I don't touch my hair. I just don't touch it at all because touching your hair creates a lot of frizz. So when it's drying, don't touch it. I also don't diffuse my hair. I don't dry it, like blow dry it or anything. I just let it air dry. I don't have a diffuser. And I also just hate using hair dryers. I've always hated them. So I just always, always, always let my hair air dry. I've never used a diffuser, so. I don't even know what that's like. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game, testing my patience to see how long I can go without touching my hair, because I'm really bad at that. While we wait for my hair to dry though, I do want to mention a couple of other um, tips or like styling techniques I have used in the past that I occasionally use, but don't always use. I'm sure most of you, if you have curly hair, you've probably heard of like plopping, um, which is like when you take like a t-shirt or like a microfiber towel or something, not like a regular towel, because these will like give you a lot of frizz. It's when you like turn your hair over and you like, scrunch your hair in this and then tie it up on your head and you like leave it there for, I don't know, like half an hour, just for like a little while. Or you can even scrunch your hair up in the um, t-shirt instead of using your hands. I've done that plenty of times. I don't do plopping just cause I don't feel like it does much for my hair personally. It has at certain times and like I did it for like a little bit and it was helpful and then it just wasn't working as well. So like I said, I just like switch things up sometimes. This is the method I've been using most frequently recently. Plopping definitely works. And sometimes I will use like a t-shirt or something just to like scrunch out some of the excess water or like after I put in gel. But yeah, you can just do something simple like this or you can use a t-shirt. And I also wanted to mention another product that I used to use. So the shampoo and conditioner I used for genuinely like years and years straight was was the Coconut Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, this is just the shampoo, but I have both. This is what I used to use for a long, long time, and it worked really well for my hair. And it was actually really helpful. It was the first curly hair shampoo I'd ever used, and it was like, life-changing for me. And I used it for years, and 
and it worked pretty well and then it just like stopped working on my hair because sometimes products do that they just stop working or they change the formula or something so I don't know what it is but I have since stopped using it but I still do like recommend this product if you're like just kind of like starting on your curly hair journey and you want to encourage your curls to have more definition because you've been using a lot of heat in the past or you just haven't let your hair be your natural hair for a while I do recommend using this if you have a similar curl type to me um, it was definitely helpful in getting like started when it came to my hair but like I said since then I've been using the function of beauty ones I like other products more for my hair now but this was like my beginner product it's not super expensive you can easily find it at least here in the US I'm not sure about other countries it's just like a very common thing you can find it like Target or Walgreens or anywhere I also do not like to pay a lot for my products so these are also pretty inexpensive they're like I think seven five to seven dollars or something like that and they're pretty big and they last a long time I've had them for over a month so yeah it's it's not gonna like run out soon all right but for now we're just gonna wait for my hair to dry hopefully the frizz is not super intense today. <laughs> okay, so quick check-in. So my hair is, I wanna say like, still wet, but like 30% dry maybe. Usually it takes about like, I don't know, a few hours at least to dry. It's been about an hour I think so far. So yeah, in a couple more hours I think it'll be completely dry. That is one of the negatives of air drying your hair, I guess. It does take longer for sure, but if you like using a diffuser, go for it. I personally don't think there's any specific way that you have to take care of your curly hair. I think you just have to find what works for you or like your personal like routine and how much time you have. Honestly, I feel like the most important thing to remember when it comes to curly hair is just like be patient. It literally took years for my hair to get to the point that it is now. Just like years and years of me making sure I was using a shampoo and conditioner that worked for my hair and then just using a curl cream because that's all I did before like, I wanna say like five months ago is when I finally started using a gel. Before that, I literally only used one other product in my hair besides shampoo and conditioner. So you really don't need it all. All you have to do is be patient and wait for your hair to start doing what it wants to do and go back to its like natural curl pattern. Truly go back and watch any of my videos from like two or three years ago. My hair didn't look like this and it's not because I was using new products all of a sudden and my hair suddenly just like got so much better. It's just because it took time. Like it took the time it needed to heal from heat damage and um, like the brushing damage that I'd done to it. Just like all the damage I'd done to it over the years of like trying to straighten my hair out and it finally healed from it. So now it's just doing what it wants to do and it looks the way it's supposed to. <laughs> anyway, those are just some of the tips that I have. Like I said, I'm not like an expert when it comes to curly hair at all. I don't feel like I am the person to talk about all of this when it comes to specific products and how they work on your hair and what um, products you need to use if your hair is too dry or if you have too much protein or whatever. Definitely I will leave some links in the description box to some um, accounts because I've mostly been following people on Instagram. I'll leave some links in the description box to some accounts that I've been following that have been really helpful and educational for me in learning more about my curly hair and how to take care of it. So if you want to learn some more like in-depth scientific knowledge or just some more tips and techniques from other people and how they take care of their hair, I'll definitely leave some of my favorite accounts down below so you can check them out. But yeah, this is just my technique. This is just what I do and what works for me. And again, like I said, I think the most important thing is for you to find what works best for you through experimentation because that's just the way that this works. <laughs> so my hair is finally finished drying and this is my hair 100% dry, 100% air dried. <laughs> and actually, I think it turned out really nice today. I have less frizz than I've had um, the past couple of washes. I do still have frizz, obviously. All curly hair has frizz. There's nothing you can do about it, honestly. Like there are definitely ways you can reduce frizz. Like I said today, I put in more gel than I usually do. That definitely, I think, helped with the frizz. But honestly, I think it's just important to learn to embrace that curly hair will be frizzy. It's just the nature of it. But yeah, serendipitously, my hair ended up looking really nice today. So I'm glad I'm filming. As you can see, my process is very simple. I am all about keeping things simple. I never want my hair care routine to be complicated. I never want it to involve too many products um, or super expensive products or anything because I honestly just don't think it's necessary. I also did quickly want to mention two other things I use for my curly hair as like part of my routine as well. I always sleep with my hair up in a pineapple. I'll just do it to show you. You just take all of the hair, obviously, and then tie it in like a giant bun on top of your head. And I sleep like that. 
I would like to use like a silk scrunchie, but this one is satin, I think, and it works just fine. I don't think it really creates that much frizz. So I just use this one. I think that's one of the tips that I found actually the most helpful in my curly hair journey. I feel like it's pretty obvious now. A lot of people know this if you have curly hair, but if you're just getting started in your journey, if you were like me and you had no idea about this, I definitely recommend tying up your hair in a giant bun on your head and sleeping with it like that so your curls don't get like squished and then um, they don't end up with like weird kinks and stuff in them when you wake up. The next day your hair will still look really nice on the second day and third day and fourth day. But then the other thing that I do, which is actually a more recent thing, is that I sleep with a silk pillowcase. I've only been using it for about like a month and a half or so. And I definitely do notice a difference between this and a cotton pillowcase, especially like after a couple of days, I can definitely tell the difference in my hair. So yeah, I would recommend this if it's something you're interested in. But again, like it's really not necessary. Like I said, I just started doing it. I spent years without a silk pillowcase. So you'll be fine if you don't want to spend like a lot on a silk pillowcase because they're kind of pricey. But I will also be sure to leave links to all the products that I mentioned in this video in the description box if you want to check them out. Like the pillowcase that I use as well as um, the curl cream and gel and the shampoo and conditioner. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful for some of you um, who've been asking me for my curly hair routine. If you have curly hair, I hope that um, you were able to get something out of this. And if at the very least you take nothing else away from this video, just please take away that your natural curly hair is beautiful. If you choose to style it some other way, if you choose to straighten it or wear wigs or do anything, that's absolutely up to you. And if that's what makes you feel good, then please keep doing what makes you feel good. But just remember that if anyone ever tries to tell you otherwise, that your natural hair isn't beautiful, that it's messy, that it shouldn't look like that, that's not true. It took me quite a while to learn to accept my natural hair and to stop damaging it because I just didn't want it to look the way that it naturally wanted to be. But I'm so glad that I finally come to a place where I love my hair and it's truly one of my favorite features that I have. So I hope that you're able to love your hair to whatever its natural texture is because you do deserve to love yourself the way that you are. Anyway, sorry for this happy ending. I know this is just a curly hair routine, but I feel like that's part of the curly hair journey and experience too. I know it's different for everybody, but to all of my curly and coily and wavy haired friends, just never let anyone make you feel like your hair shouldn't be the way that it is. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, if you want to know more about my hair, maybe I'll do some updates on there. If that's something you guys are interested in, I can do some updates on um, my curly hair routine if anything changes on Instagram or something. So definitely let me know. As always, all my links are in the description box. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye!